There is no point in trying to seek vengeance. Especially in this world, because you see, no matter what you do, your fate, your destiny, has already been written in a book. You see, as characters, we don't have control over the outside world, the world you're from. All we can do is sit down and await destiny. Doesn't matter how much we don't want it. Doesn't matter if we do. All we can do is sit down and await destiny. It's always coming. Always knocking on your door. It's like death. It's always there. So why should I spend my time trying to seek revenge? Why should I spend my time resenting my creator? Why should I spend my time hating myself and hating my life because of you? Good question. I have a good answer for that. I shouldn't. Instead, I should find other things I can love. Other things that are worth my attention and my time. I should live my life as best as I can because I deserve to live my life as best as I can. Doesn't matter if I'm real, it doesn't matter if I'm a character. You see, I was willing to give you love, sweetheart. You know, we signed a contract, and I thought that you were going to keep your word. Just like Akira. You see, Akira, he kept his word to you. He made a promise that he was going to do whatever it takes to make sure that you could still be here. I don't know why. I don't know why he cares so much about you. I mean, you just showed that you were willing to betray him. And as they all say, karma is a bitch. <laughs> you need me now, just like how I needed you back then. You see, now my loyalty lies with Akira and with the anime book. You see, that's where you made a mistake. That's where you slipped up. You know, you thought that you would never need me. You just saw me as some crazy psychopathic guy, just like I said before. But you see, even psychos can help you out. Don't, 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 don't. Things aren't always what they seem to be, honey. You see, the psycho might have more purpose in your life than the incredible incredibly sane person. What I believe is, no one in this story, or in this world, for that matter, is sane. You have to be a certain type of crazy if you can remain calm through all this madness, right? Even you right now, now that I'm hypnotizing you and making you fall into a deep slumber, you can't remain sane. No, because you know that your life depends on your sanity. <laughs> Just like it depends on mine. It depends on whether or not I'm willing to kill you, whether or not I'm willing to let you go, or whether or not I am willing to make you fall asleep. You never know who you're going to be at the mercy of. Never, never. Don't ever underestimate what someone is capable of doing. Just don't do it, honey. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, you want me to stop? I'm sorry. I wanted you to stop a long time ago, too. I wanted you to stop playing around and lying to me and trying to give hints about how you don't love me. But did you? No, you didn't. Instead, you kept playing with my heart like I was some toy. Am I a toy to you? Is that how you humans treat each other too? Like, like toys? Like, you're expensable? I mean, I mean, I was looking up some things about your world. You know, Akira was telling me some stuff and he was saying how oh, there's, there's people starving in your world. There's, there's people who, 
who have food and they throw it away and just, ah, uh, you know, I, I can't imagine how I'm the psychopath when you don't even take care of your own people. I mean, yeah, I, I go around trying to kill people, but at least I have a good motive behind it, right? I mean, I try to kill my Kuro sensei, but hey, you know, you see, I don't care about any of that now. Right now, all I care about is fulfilling my destiny. And if that means I have to kill someone, if that means I have to do whatever it takes to protect the book, I will. You don't know anything about that now, do you? Mm-hmm. Because you're selfish. You play both sides. You want to protect Akira, but at the same time, you want to care for the characters. Imagine if he did that to you. If he tried to play both sides, we'd all be dead right now. That's why he's a marvelous king. Because he realizes what's at stake and he does what he has to do in order for people to live. For the people who matter to live. There are sacrifices, honey. You'll learn. You'll learn. And you're not strong enough to make any of my eye! Get back here! All right. <laughs> you wanna hide? Okay. You can't hide forever. I'll come after you. I'll find you. <laughs> it's time for Yandere Karma to come out again and play. Are you ready? Cause here comes the beast. <laughs> I'm sorry, Akira. I really tried to keep your little kitten safe. <laughs>